Welcome to CalPADS Orientation. This session is an introduction to CalPADS and other statewide educational systems. To learn how to use CalPADS, you will need to complete the CalPADS basic sessions. The goals of this session are to familiarize participants with the various state reporting systems, introduce some of the most commonly used acronyms and terminology related to reporting, uh, discuss the rough timelines of when the data are needed to be reported, examples of how the data are used, and then we will also identify the key local staff involved in the collection reporting and verification of data, the specific responsibilities of all the staff with access to student data, and then we will outline next steps for new data coordinators and how to get more information and additional training. This course will benefit new data coordinators, staff new to education, and leadership at the local education agency, the LEA. This session is the prerequisite for the CalPADS basic training. Prerequisite here. The basic courses are designed to provide new users with a general understanding of the CalPADS functionality. There will be more about CalPADS training opportunities at the end of the presentation. So let's begin with reviewing our statewide education data systems. State and federal legislation specify what data are required to be reported and the timelines for reporting those data and how those data are used. Some of the key acts are the Local Control Funding Formula, or LCFF, which was enacted in 2013 as part of the state budget. It revamped the way schools are financed, provided for local decision making, and required the development of an accountability system to measure school progress using multiple factors. The Every Student Succeeds Act, or ESSA, is federal legislation enacted in 2015. It reauthorized the Elementary and Secondary Education Act, ESEA, and provided for accountability and action to affect positive change in the lowest performing schools. No Child Left Behind, NCLB, enacted in 2002, put measures in place to expose achievement gaps among traditionally underserved students and their peers. NCLB was replaced by ESSA, Every Student Succeeds Act. The statewide systems are CalPATS, the California Longitudinal Pupil Achievement Data System, CBEDS Aura, the California Basic Educational Data System Online Reporting Application, OPUS CDS, the Online Public Update for Schools, County District Schools, and CARS, the Consolidated Application and Reporting System. CalPADS is the foundation of California's educational data systems. CalPADS data are used in funding calculations, accountability measures, state and federal reporting, assessments, program evaluation, the local control accountability plan evaluation rubrics, and for research purposes. CalPADS processing is based on unique identifiers. There are two different statewide identifiers. Both are unique 10 digit randomly generated numbers. The Statewide Student Identifier, or SSID, and the Statewide Educator ID are said. SSIDs are requested through CalPADS. When students initially enroll, an SSID is requested. The SSID should follow students through their K-12 years, and they should have only one throughout that time. All students are required to be reported in CalPADS when they enrolled. LEA should take care to select the correct SSID up front, and that will reduce the time needed to resolve problems later. We recommend that you adopt strategies to prevent errors. When a student has more than one SSID or when multiple students share the same SSID, we refer to that as an anomaly. For more information on anomalies, we recommend that you participate in the training which covers what anomalies are and how to resolve them. The other state identifier is the statewide educator identifier, or SEED, S-E-I-D. The statewide educator ID is issued by the California Commission on Teacher Credentialing. It is required for all certificated staff, not just teachers, but also of all administrators and pupil services, any position that requires a credential or authorization. SEEDs, 
SEID, are provided to the county offices of education who then distribute to their districts and independently reporting charters. For questions regarding the seeds, contact the credential analyst in your district or at the county office of education. The seed is required for reporting staff information. Seeds may also be optionally obtained for non-certificated administrators or non-certificated non-core charter school teachers by applying for a certificate of clearance. Here we have a quick view of all of the data collected in CalPADS. Anytime a student enrolls or exits in a California K-12 public school, that information must be reported in CalPADS, along with the demographics, programs that students are eligible for, and programs in which they participate in, their English language acquisition status as well. During specific times of the year, additional information is reported, including course enrollment and course completion, staff teaching those courses and other certificated staff, student absence summary, behavioral incidents, career tech ed participants and completers, students with disabilities, graduates and other completers, work-based learning and post-secondary survey results for CTE, career tech ed, and students with disability. So CalPAS is a web-based system. All that is needed to access it is a browser and, and an account. Most data in CalPAS comes directly from the LEAs most commonly through extracting it from the local student information system, the SIS, or the special education system, SEDS, and then uploading into CalPADS. Alternatively, data can be entered directly into CalPADS or uploaded from Excel spreadsheets. Some data come from other state systems during matching activities. For example, enrollment and demographic data are extracted from CalPADS, and used to match data statewide with the California Department of Social Services at CalFresh, CalWorks, and the Medi-Cal systems to directly certify students as eligible for free and reduced price meals. There is a statewide matching with the child welfare system and case management system to identify foster youth. There is a data exchange with the testing operations management system, TOMS, so students can be digitally assessed and LPAC test status results returned back to CalPADS. More recently, course and certificated staff data from CalPADS is matched with the California Commission on Teacher Credentialing to identify potential misassignments following the fall two submission. The next two slides cover a few common terms that need to be understood when working with CalPADS. There are two different types of data in CalPADS, and one needs to be able to recognize the difference. The current data in the Operational Data Store, or ODS, is what is in CalPADS at any given time. It reflects the frequent ongoing updates and is used for reporting data matches, the four-year graduation cohort, extracts for the assessment, and the basis of what goes into our certification reports. The certified data or snapshot data reflect either a specific point in time, like census day or a specific date range, July 1 to June 30th. Certificated data is usually a subset of what is in the ODS. Report aggregates can be captured as of a single day or from a date range. Information day is that single day. It is always the first Wednesday in October, and it's referred to as Census Day. Some also refer to it as Seabed's Day.